Hi guys, Robbie 46 here and welcome yourselves back to MotoGP15. We're back in career mode and it's been uh, going downhill a bit career for me. Uh, pretty much ever since Silverstone, that DNF from the technical problem. Uh, the last two races didn't go that well. And now we're at my dreaded circuit. We are at Mategi. This is going to be a horrible race for me, I just know it is. Obviously starting from the back of the grid as always. And uh, I've made up quite a few positions already. Got a really good drive out of that corner. It's this next couple of corners. This double left hander. Uh, this is where I usually suffer. Uh, as I go wide, I'm definitely going to suffer. I didn't suffer too bad, I only lost one place. But down here, they seem to be able to get better drive than me out of the corner. Just because... I just lose traction on that corner and then this corner they seem to be able to break later than me um, but yeah so we're 18th at the moment so we're not in the points this section is probably my well it's my most favorite part it's the part of the track I can actually tolerate because it's nice and flowy we made up a place there there's a big group of them ahead oh we got a good drive out of there come on we're in a point scoring position, 15th. And we've got some more. So we're up to 13th at the moment. I do hate this track. It doesn't like me. Usually things go wrong here. Oh, almost crashed then. Hit the back of Binder. Can we get a good drive? We've got in the slipstream, so we might be able to get Binder. They slipstreaming as well. Surely we can outbreak them. Um, we're pretty much broke at the same time there. All going wide. But they don't seem to lose very much time going wide, but enough that I can get back past. So we're 11th. Gonna. Oh, for about having Hanukkah. Not quite. So 11th at the moment after the first. Like, that's not too bad. So maybe we can get top 10. Of course, I can't upgrade my bike anymore. It's as high as it will go. So we've got this race. One more. And then I think it's the last two races. Which is going to be interesting. Ooh. I can't remember if it's Sepang next or Phillip Island. We'll find out anyway because it's going to be in this video as well. So still 11th. So I haven't made any places up whatsoever yet. I'm almost halfway round the lap already. Ooh. Hopefully we can make a few places up here on the right hander. They're still right behind me, those guys. So I'm not dropping them. We've got Masby. Come on, let's get Hanukkah as well. Can I get another couple of places on this right hander? Or even three places if we get a good drive out. Might be able to. Vasquez and Bastianini are next, but I'm on the wrong side into the hairpin. Can I cut back? Nope. Kind of, but now I'm on the wrong side for the next hairpin. Although I'm ahead of Vasquez. Might be able to outbreak Bastianini. Yes, we do. Come a little bit wide, not too bad. He's going to try and cut back though, and he does. Get off me. So we're up to sixth. That's not bad. One lap to go. Gonna be interesting lap. Bassinini's gonna probably outbreak me. Yeah, I'll let him go because then hopefully I can cut back. As we do. Oh, we've got Antonelli. Have we? No, he's gonna come back. He's gonna come back. No, he's not. He'll probably slipstream me though. Okay, so we're up to fifth. There's quite a big gap up to the next. Oh, up to the leaders. Oh, Jesus, Antonelli's come back. Can we catch him? I don't think so. Just set the fastest lap. But whether it's enough to catch the next lot, I don't know. I don't think so. Though we have caught him a little bit, but this is a section where they pull away. I think Antonelli's going to be... Oh, it was Bastianini. 
he's sixth now. I think he's going to be battling with us right to the end. Oh god, yeah, there he is. We've lost a place. Down to sixth. We're definitely not catching the, the leaders. So we're going to have to battle with Bassinini for fifth, I think. So we've got better drive there. That's fine. Can we hold him off now? Gone a bit too deep into there, which is not what I wanted to do because I want to get a good exit out of here. As an okay one. Into the two hairpins. And hopefully we can hold Bastianini off. I really hope we can. I don't think we're going to catch those guys in the lead. We are catching them slightly, but it's not going to be enough to uh, to be able to take the lead. Which is a bit annoying, but... Hey, I'll take 5th place at, at Mitegi. They've gone a bit wide. They do go wide at the bottom of there. Maybe another lap I might have been able to catch them, but... I think I'm going to have to set, settle for 5th five, place, sorry. I'm not really catching them. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what that's done to the championship, that's for sure. Because my lead has been cut quite dramatically and it's going to go down even further now. And it's frozen, but give it a minute and it will hopefully sort itself out and then we can have a look at the championship. I'm pretty sure it's definitely closed up. I know that the other two classes are really close. But this one, I had such a big lead halfway well, through the season. Make their way to park Let's have a look at the I'm pretty start. sure it said that Quattararo won the race and now they've given it to Oliveira. Nine points! Holy shit. Three races to go. And I've only got a nine point lead. Bugger. So here we are, Phillip Island, I need a really good result here. I could do with Oliveira having a bit of a mare, but I don't think that's going to happen. Come on, let's go. Nine points is the lead I've got in the championship over Oliveira. For some reason it said uh, at the end of the race that Quattararo got the uh, race win, but in the actual points they gave it to Oliveira. Which is annoying because that would have given me an extra five points. But we definitely need a good result here. We're up to 19th already. Hopefully we'll get a few more places going into the dreaded Honda hairpin. Oh, Louise. oh Jesus. 16th. Just get ahead of Loy and then we are in a point scoring position. There we go. But we need to get more. I need to know where Oliveira is as well. Probably right at the front as always. Come on my KTM. A few more. Is my... Oh no. This next corner. Oh Jesus. It's going to be bad one. Oh, they've all gone. They've all slowed right down. My perfect chance to strike is Hanukkah. I was hoping that was going to be Oliveira, but it wasn't. Gone wide. I have to see if I can. Uh, Hanukkah's going to come past. I might have to slipstream him. Although he's not actually coming past. Can flat out 150 miles an hour. Ooh, come on. Ah, need to get Vasquez and Antonelli quick. We set the fastest time. And we are now sixth. We need to get the leaders and we need to get into the lead. I can't settle for anything less than a win. I need to extend those points because we've got Sepang and uh, Valencia left and Valencia isn't one of my strongest circuits 
and Sepang with those two long straights is um, I think I'm going to suffer a bit there as well so I need as big a point gap as I can get so Oliveira is about was he fourth now fifth so that's good might be able to claim a few more points off him we're ahead of him so we're up to fourth they are your leaders and I'm right with him I need to try and slipstream Navare down the straight but I'm going wide again I'm not going to be able to which is bad because that means Oliveira is going to be able to slipstream me here he goes is he coming past? hopefully not that's fine that's a better line through turn one now we need to deal with the leaders oh, I thought I had Navarro then come on I'm gonna run out of time it's not the longest of circuits so we are gonna run out of time so I need to uh, pick a good spot to take the lead Honda hairpin isn't one of them if I can get a good good slingshot out there no still got a bit of a gap if I can get good drive out of here and get on their back wheels which has kind of worked I'm almost with them it's gonna have to be in the uh, downhill right hand there where it's so easy to lose the front oh we're going for it we're in the lead we are in the lead it's the first time we've been in the lead for quite a few races now Take it nice and gently down here. Hopefully they will go wide as they do. That's good for me. Come on, we just need a really good exit at the last corner. And we've got this. It's going to be close. But I need a win. Just to get, get a bit more of an advantage over Oliveira. We've done it. Thank God for that. We needed that win. Whew. We needed that. Two races left. And the points are going to be close, I know that. It's going to be really close, I think. I don't actually know where Oliveira got. I think it was about 5th or 6th. Let's wait for confirmation as we all crash. Oh, we got 8th. That's a result. What's that done? 26 point lead. So if I finish ahead of Oliveira at Sepang, I've won the championship. That's uh, going to be a bit of a tall order. Beyond the prestige of winning but I've got to have to try. Today's victory also gets him 25 all important points for. Whoo! It's going to be intense. Last two races, guys. Make sure you don't miss it. Sepang and Valencia. And I know I'm not very strong at Valencia. And Sepang with those two long straights. And I'm going to suffer. Especially with top speed and the, as quick as the uh, AI bikes seem to be. So it's going to be close. But I need to finish in front of Oliveira at Sepang. If I want to win the title before the last round. Otherwise it might be going down to the wire. Let's have a look at the championships. So Rossi is now leading by four points. And Moti Rabat is leading Lowe's by two points and Zarko by six points. So that's really close. Moti GP is really close. Mate 3's opened up a little bit thanks to that win and Oliveira's 8th place but it's still goddamn close with two races to go. It's going to be a good one. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more content. And I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.